Schools, teachers and students alike are taking action as climate change becomes an ever more pressing hot topic. John A. Ferguson Senior High is one example of a school who strives for environmental protection. Although the campus implements some earth-friendly practices, the students and faculty are consistently advocating for more ways to improve the school policies. We have people going around every week picking up paper and cardboard. The problem is the company that we use now for the Dade County Schools doesn't pick up glass or plastic, only paper and cardboard, so we're missing a lot. We don't recycle anything in the courtyard. We're lucky if the kids put it in the garbage. I mean, it's so hard just to get a light bulb changed. I mean, it would have to be top down. We do use a lot of paper. So some teachers have gotten away from that completely and they have their assignments online and the students do the work from their computers. This school is a shelter if people are in need for those freaking hurricanes that are coming in here because the planet is warming, they're stronger. We all know this. We have backup generators, we have solar panels, and we are here to help the people if they need it. As a public institution with a population of over 4,000 students, the school collaborates with the community to improve the climate crisis that is occurring all around, not only in the city, but in the world. In a way, the beautification projects, they make our school look beautiful by promoting more plants and other like nice things around our school, um, specifically the plants. I think that's great because they release oxygen, which is in turn good for our environment and all that. Um, what our school does, which is pretty cool, is that we have, we don't have any plastic plates anymore. We have used paper plates when we do like the school lunches and all that. But I think that honestly, when we get down to it, like the administration doesn't do much in order to really effectively combat climate change. I do know that at Palmetto, they actually got rid of plastic straws at their school, which is really cool. And that could probably work here as well. I'd really like to plant a lot more trees around the campus. The idea of planting more trees would create shade and that would reduce the heating costs in some areas. Many people say that the school system isn't doing enough, so several teachers and students are taking it upon their own hands to teach others about how to fix the worldwide problem. I do it every day in the classroom talking to my students and I've been doing it for 10 years. Climate change in ecology, when I was teaching IB biology, it was always my chosen topic because we get to choose a topic. For me, ecology is everything. Human economics without ecology is zero. Everything we have from our cell phones to our clothes to the food in our stomach is because of nature. And if we screw with nature, oh, we lose everything. So for me, everything stems from that. So my role as an educator, I can't change the world, but I can try and change one mind at another, or at least I can give them the knowledge. So at Ferguson, since there's like such a huge student body, um, and especially since all of us are mostly minorities, the changes and the effects that we put into place here is, are going to cause ripple effects throughout all of the county and it's going to urge other schools to follow in, in, you know, follow in our footsteps. As the temperature slowly rises, the Ferguson Falcons intend to continue their efforts and bring more attention to this issue. More eco-friendly changes should be seen later this year. I'm Edward Franco reporting for FBN News, Miami.